they can never stay still. Haven't you seen that? And as summer ends, they start worrying about the winters and they hurry and they scurry, gathering nuts and seeds for the winters. They collect non-perishable food items that they bury in and around the tree hole that they live in, the tree hollow that they live in. So Berry is one such squirrel who is in a hurry to collect seeds and nuts for the winters. But his wife Mary is more worried about Berry because our Berry is really absent-minded. Berry, please remember to store seeds and nuts around our tree, near our tree, besides our tree. Nowhere else, please. Last year, we somehow managed to survive. Please remember this year, Barry. Last year, they had somehow managed to survive on the seeds and nuts which Mary had stored. Okay, Mary, I promise to remember where I store them in and around our tree, near our tree, around our tree, nowhere else. And off he went, collecting seeds and nuts. Soon winters arrived. All the squirrels were in the tree hollow, snuggling and cuddling and keeping themselves warm. Barry and Mary, too, were snuggling and cuddling and keeping themselves warm. That Mary realized that the food was less and they had to get more. Barry, it's your turn to get the seeds and nuts. I hope you remember where you kept them. Of course, Mary, I do remember where I kept them. Okay, I'll get them. Oops, Barry had to leave his warm, cozy tree hollow and go out into the cold. And as he ran down the tree trunk, he stopped before he touched the ground. Maybe I stored them in one of the tree hollows. And he turned around and went back up and he peeped into the first tree hollow he saw. Are you in there? And the reply came, Barry, what is it now? Oops, I am sorry. And off he went. He was in the wrong tree hollow. And as he went from one tree hollow to the other, you could hear the shouts, Barry, what are you doing? Barry, do tell me you forgot your seat and nuts again. Poor Barry was left scratching his head. He just couldn't remember. But you children and I remember. Why don't we give a shout out? Maybe Barry can hear us. We just have to say near the tree, around the tree. Here we go. Near the tree, around the tree. Near the tree, around the tree. Barry heard that and he went down and he scratched and he scratched through the snow and the ground. It took a while, but he found his seeds and nuts. And he scurried back up home. Mary was really happy this time. And soon, after a few weeks, Mary again said, Barry, you need to get some more seeds and nuts. And off Barry went down, looking on the ground. He looked here, he looked there. He looked everywhere. He was getting tired and he was feeling cold. He looked into an empty, empty bird feeder and he said are you in there no reply came so children you and i know where the seeds and nuts are don't we near the bush which is beside the tree let's give a shout out look near the bush which is beside the tree near the bush beside the tree barry heard that and barry rushed near the bush and he scratched and he scratched the snow away and he dug the ground but he had to look around and he finally found the seeds and nuts. Mary was really happy that Barry was no longer absent-minded. You and I know how Barry remembered where he kept his seeds and nuts. This story ends here. I created the story keeping in mind preposition. I hope you are able to use this story to teach prepositions. 
Thank you.